Happy to be joined by one of the big winners this past weekend at UFC Vegas 32. Of course, I'm talking about Adrian Yanez who's coming out that finish over Randy Costa. Adrian, how's it going, man? Man, it's going good. Uh, yeah, it was a fun fight. Definitely a great fight. Uh, great learning experience for me. So, uh, you know, I'm just ready to go out there and close, close the holes that, that, that were opened and, uh, you know, be able to get back in there as soon as possible. Obviously, we know what the game plan was. You were going in there to take his head off in a friendly manner. There was a lot of uh, fun sort of banter leading up to to the fight. But I wanted to know in that second round, did you sense he was getting tired? And is that sort of why you really went in for the kill? Or was that something you're just like, I just got to get this guy out of here? Uh, honestly, it was, uh, it was a, there was a turn in the shift and the momentum at the end of the first. Like from uh, the minute, whenever there was a minute and 30 seconds left in that round, I started, uh, I started doing things a little bit more here and there. Uh, it didn't. And you know what? You know what's crazy? Because I like I I thought it was a sense of him getting tired too, but he actually he actually like it was a it was a, he tweeted out to somebody to somebody was t- saying like was it a cardio issue? What happened? Uh, Randy broke it, broke it down pretty well, and, and Randy was like, nah, he wasn't tired. It was just that I was doing a great job of like uh, chopping down his legs, doing a, a good job of like uh, making the right adjustments at the right time. He, he was uh, getting flustered by it a little bit. So it was, uh, you know, I, I felt like it was a sense of tired, tired, tiredness, but uh, also I was ripping to the body, like at the end of the closer to the end of that round, it was like, it kind of like made him freeze up a little bit. Cause he was throwing a lot more, even from the minute 30 on, he was still throwing until I ripped that body shot. Once I ripped it, uh, he kind of really stopped. And I had took notice of that and, uh, in the corner, I just remember just being like, okay, loosen up, loosen up, uh, take a step forward, command the center. Because that's one thing I didn't do in the first three minutes. I didn't command the center whatsoever. And I should have. Were you hurt like badly in that first round? Like I know, obviously, I think we can agree he probably won that first round. How, how were you feeling going into the second? I know you felt like the tide was going to turn, but were you, were, you, did you, were you feeling any of those shots is what I'm kind of getting at. Man, honestly, I, I wasn't hurt. I wasn't hurt at any point of that that first round. I was uh, I was completely aware of everything that was going on. It's just I couldn't do anything about it. At the that that was the only that was the only thing. So all props to Randy for coming out the way he did, uh, landing those jabs, landing almost uh, to a point where like I was seeing everything coming, but everything like because he was he's 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 a little bit awkward. He is a little bit awkward. So like the the punches were were coming they felt at a different speed like they started slow but ended fast if that makes sense and that was that caught me off guard and that caught me really really off guard uh his boxing was a lot better than what i thought it was going to be i thought he was gonna be more kick oriented so i wasn't really i wasn't really hurt i was kind of seeing everything but everything was kind of just i just couldn't do anything because uh once he hit me with the first couple jabs after that, I kind of went into wanting to go into kill mode and start landing shots. And I guess he had sensed that. So he was just popping the jab the whole entire time. So props to him. Props to him on that. He, he did great. How do you celebrate after a win like that? Oh, man. I, I still got my Dr. Pepper on me right now, man. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go, man. I actually got a box of pizza still, man. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm living life a little bit, but uh, I, I know what I need to do once after – after this, you know, my face heals up a little bit. I'm, I'm going to be back in the gym uh, as as soon as possible. Uh, they want the UFC wanted me to get uh, X-rays. They wanted to X-ray my nose just to see if I was wrong, if there's anything broken or anything like that. But there's nothing wrong. They, I'm just trying to make the suspension a lot shorter because the commission's trying to give me a a 180 suspension. I'm just like, it's not broken. It's like yeah. I can go next week if they want me to. But uh, yeah, commission stuff. I believe he's been in your corner before, but Mana Martinez, he's going to be making his debut coming up here. How cool is that for him to see you get the win when he's going to be fighting in a few weeks? Man, it's, it was super cool, man. I trust his eyes. Like, I really trust his eyes. Like, he's, uh, he's like, hey, when it comes to, like, he knows my style. I know his style. And we've we've uh, been in each other's corners uh, a lot. And I remember when, uh, when we were fighting, uh, when he was fighting uh, Ricky Tercios, I just remember, uh, I remember like yelling at him. You see it, like I. There's a lot. There was a lot. There was a lot. We've been in each other, each other's corner whenever it mattered the most. And uh, this this time, you know, my coach uh, got sick. He caught COVID before uh, we took off. And uh, I asked Mon if he could uh, be in my corner, and he said yes. With, he said yes, like with no hesitation. Didn't even ask why or anything like that. So uh, jumped in my corner again. I, I knew I could trust his eyes. I knew that he's 
I knew that he uh, had the eyes to fight, and then whenever I came back, he knew exactly what to say. So it was it was it was great adjustments on on both sides. Like he did a great job, uh, and it's 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 cool because now he gets to see the how everything kind of runs through fight week. So and he's not gonna have, be a little bit in the uh, uh, unknown. He's gonna be he's gonna he's know done the what's walk. It. Yeah, like he sort of get to experience it already, which I know for a lot of fighters is huge. Just you know being in the arena, doing the fight week stuff, it's a very valuable experience for a lot of fighters. So, oh yeah, yeah. So that I think that was also a great experience for him as well. So it, it I think it just overall just helped him out, but also he was helping me out during the whole entire time. I wanted to ask you about this weekend's uh, card because uh, we got we got a couple interesting fights here. I think future analysts is in is in your books there. Maybe we'll get you on the desk soon. But uh, we got this uh, welterweight fight between Brian Barberena and Jason Witt. Barberena minus two sixty five. Jason Witt plus two ten. Do you have a pick in that one? Uh, that according to Fanduel, by the way, who who are you liking in that fight? Man, I, I I like I like Brian Barberena. He's always been one of those guys that's always a dog to me. And uh, usually, if it, if if it goes goes into the three rounds. He's a guy that usually gets stronger but as the round goes. So I, I, I would shoot, I would I would pick him for sure. Co main event is Chris Dawkins, who's supposed to fight a few weeks ago. He's now fighting uh, his opponent Shamil Abdurahimov. I think that's how you say it, but uh, Abdurahimov is a uh, plus one fifty four underdog. Chris Dawkins minus one ninety two. Who do you like in the co main event? Man, yeah, again, Chris Dawkins, uh, I, I just I just found out that we're tied for second place for the for the knockouts. That's uh, right. uh I'm 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 a uh, I'm I'm leaning towards him. Uh, I'm hoping it's not by knockout because he's gonna make it, he's gonna make me go into third place. But uh, but uh, no, nah, I, I lean I lean towards him. I'll lean towards him. I uh, he's he's a he's a powerful puncher, and uh, you know I hope he does. I hope he gets a jump. And then the main event, obviously, Sean Strickland, Uriah Hall. Strickland actually is the favorite at minus two fifteen. Hall, the underdog, plus one seventy two. Who do you like in that one? Man, that's actually the more interesting fight. I like both of these fighters. I like Uriah Hall a lot. I like uh, Sean Strickland a lot. He's the guy that's going to stay in your face and then uh, and just talk you through it. I love it. Like, I love that style. I remember when he was like, uh, uh, which fight was it? He was talking. He's like, Jack, I'm giving you a shot, man. I'm giving you a shot. We can start swinging right now. It was Jack now. Marshman, yeah, that he fought, yeah. Oh, yeah, and, that, and just how he was standing in the middle, just, like, giving him the shots and, like, just, man – he wasn't giving him the shot, but he was giving him the shot, and I, I really, I really love that, uh, man. And his hands are just super good, like, and they're 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 long and snappy, like that's how that's how that's how I look like that's how I looked at whenever I was like whenever I was fighting Randy. It was like they started off slow but ended off fast. That's how it kind of felt, but a little bit more technical on Randy's side from the technical standpoint, but. Uh, Ryan Hall is no punk man. He's one of those guys that has, he has really great vision. And if you're gonna sit there and you're gonna stand and strike with uh, Ryan Hall, uh, man, you're you're kind of in a world in, in a world of trouble because he's really really good. He's really powerful. And if you stand up tall against Ryan Hall, man, he, it's it's not gonna be a good night for you. So who do you who, so, who, who's your pick on that one? Yeah, I was gonna ask you. Man, I would actually I would actually uh, lean towards. Uh, I would lean towards Uriah Hall, uh, just because like I, I I like I like Sean Strickland. I love his style. He's uh, he tries to he he does a he does the Philly show very well. Uh, but when you're going against someone like uh, Uriah Hall who has really sharp sharp uh, precision precision counter punches, it, it it's kind of hard for me to uh, pick against him because I know if he's gonna come forward, it, the the shots are gonna be there. And every single time he throws a jab. He drops it right back to uh, chest level, and and Raya Hall is going to capitalize on that. It's just going to take a matter of time. It might get him a little bit to get going, but I think it's I think he's do he's going to do a great job in uh, figuring that out. And uh, it's it's kind of funny because I seen uh, like back in the day whenever I I went to a range training center for uh, uh, for for like what I had just barely turned pro. I saw I saw Raya. Raya Hall uh, sparring against Lorenz Larkin, and that was the most amazing uh, sparring I've ever seen. The most technical and the most controlled, but yet it was so fast paced, and it was it was such a beautiful art to see that. Like anytime I see someone just stand in front of a uh, Raya Hall, I know, I'm like, dude, he's he's he, they see things differently, and uh, you know, Sean Strickland, man, he's he's a great fighter, man. But if he stands in front of Raya Hall, man, Raya Hall. 
might put him away. You know, what's interesting is I think they even used to train a little bit together at Rain because I know Sean's done a lot of cross training and I believe they, they actually sparred together uh, back in the day. So that's kind of interesting heading into the fight. Um, wanted to ask you as well, uh, I don't know if you caught the main event of your card with Dillashaw and Sanhag. And if you did, because that's your division, who do you think won that fight? Because a lot of people are saying Corey should have got the nod. Man, yeah, like I was able to catch glimpses here and there, uh, but I was pretty much uh, – I was pretty much just washing my face off because, like, man, I, I was covered up in blood, and I was like, man, like, I, I needed to wash my face. Uh, I needed to see really how bad I was swollen up and everything. But uh, I was catching it here and there. But uh, honestly, uh, like, my teammates, uh, Leo Leo, and uh, Leo, my training partner, uh, Michael, and my brother, uh, they were split, too. They were split, too. But, uh, man, there was a lot of times where – Corey Sanhagen should have capitalized, and at the end of at the end of the day, that was our consensus uh, towards the fight. We felt uh, we felt Corey Sanhagen should have uh, done more, if that makes sense, because there was a lot of times where he he had certain things open, or he had stuff. Uh, he was trying to do a little bit too more of a flashing, but instead of sticking a little bit more to the basics, and because anytime he did anything more towards the basics, he landed and he landed hard. So. To, to to us, we felt we it, we couldn't really pick a winner. Honestly, it was uh, like we wanted Corey Sanhagen to win, but at the end of it, we really couldn't we really couldn't decide ourselves. So uh, it was it was too close to call. Uh, the the it was just kind of like back control on the fence a little bit, and Corey gave up his back a little bit too much. Uh, kind of wish he didn't do that, but uh, I don't know. On my end, I probably I. I on just due just due to damage, I probably would have gave it to uh, Corey. Uh, but overall, it is MMA, uh, so I cheated to the show. I got the nod, so I don't know. Like I had to go go back and really sit down and watch that fight. Like the honesty, uh, you talked about you know wanting to get everything figured out medically. Uh, ideally, when would you like to have your next fight if you could pick and choose? Oh, if I could pick and choose, I would want to do September. Uh, I would want to do September, uh, end of September. I think that would be a lot better for me. Uh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm in, I'm still in shape. Uh, I just got a little, little nicks here and there. Uh, got to just get my nose, got to get my nose, uh, Check x-ray, yeah. get medically cleared. And then after that, I'd be ready to go. I, like, I, I got, I got everything set up for this week. So I'll find out everything ASAP. And once we get that figured out, uh, we move on to, to what's next. Is there anyone you're looking at as far as the next opponent? Honestly, I haven't thought that far because all, all of my uh, all of my attention was like strictly focused on Randy, which it should have which it should have been, and it completely showed in that first round. So uh, I haven't really thought about it. Uh, there's been some names thrown around, but uh, uh, honestly, at this at this at this point, I'm just I'm just I'm just ready to fight again because uh, I'm really pissed off about my my performance and uh, I want to go out there and have a better showcase. Wow. It's interesting. You uh, still got the 50 K in the knockout. I think I'd take that, but I understand. I know where you're coming from for sure. Uh, Adrian, thanks so much for the time, man. Anyone you want to thank any sponsors, any social media, I'll give you the last word. Oh man. I just want to thank uh fight back CBD, man. Uh, that was a game changer. Like uh, using their uh, fight back CBD at night and that helped me sleep, helped me recover a lot more. I'm definitely implementing that to my like regular routine. Helped me out a lot. Uh, also give a big shout out to my coach, Saul Elise. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be in this position I am today. Big shout out to Liam Wana. Uh, he came out on like a week's notice to come corner me. So that was really amazing on his part. Uh, and then also shout out to my uh, management team, Meridian Sports Agency. They treat me very, very well. Uh, and they have great plans for me. Uh, and then also HK USA, they, they provided me with all my training gear from my training camp, uh, best gear that I've had yet. And man, uh, thank you for the platform. This has been amazing. Also another one, shout out MMA Twitter. They made this so much bigger than what I thought it was going to be. So the biggest shout out to them, man, they made this so much worthwhile.